This is SB Nation. I'm Matt Ufford. That's Luke Keekley of the Carolina Panthers. Welcome, Luke. Thanks for having me. Rookie year, you led the NFL in tackles, defensive rookie of the year, second year uh, defensive player of the year, youngest person ever to hold that title. What's next in the third year? Oh, just win games. I think that's what it comes down to is being able to be consistent, you know, play consistent, play consistent as a team, um, get to the playoffs again and make a push, you know, late in the postseason. Uh, what's your off-season regime like? Is it just True Detective and pizza, or what's going on with you right now? Well, right now we got back. We've been back in Charlotte since April 21st. You know, we're in the phase one of OTA, so it's just been meetings and workouts. You know, this Monday we'll dive into phase two, which is more meetings, workouts, and you know, some on-field stuff with coaches. So it's progressing pretty quickly. Sounds really exciting. Oh yeah, it's great. It's super exciting stuff that we've been talking about since uh, since I got there. All the stuff they're talking about is just real basic. Fundamentals, so we're getting there. So the NFL draft is coming up uh, right around the corner. You were the ninth overall pick just two years ago. What's draft night like for these uh, soon-to-be rookies? Nervous, exciting. Um, it's, it's probably a culmination of all the hard work they've put in, you know, since they got to college. So they're at that point now where they just got to wait for their name to be called, whether it's early, late. Um, those guys are big excited. It's a big night for them. So you know, I'm looking forward to watching the draft as much as they are to hear their name. Yeah, are you looking forward to the uh, Panthers drafting a wide receiver? Hey, I'm looking forward to whatever they draft. You know, I'm a, I'm a defensive get side guy. Excuse me. So uh, you know, I wouldn't mind them drafting on defense. But whatever we need, I'm sure they got it lined up upstairs. So uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little bit curious. Uh, one of the biggest storylines for the Panthers this offseason was the departure of Steve Smith. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to end up playing at Baltimore, uh, his new team, the Ravens. Would Steve Smith burn your house down? Oh, absolutely not. Steve, Steve's, a, Steve's a, one of those guys that's different on the field than off the field. You know, on the field, he's a big time competitor. He wants to win. Um, he's going to do anything he can to win. And off the field, Steve's a normal dude. Great guy, great family, great family man, great dad. Um, he's a good dude to be around. So, uh, you know, I'll be looking forward to see him. You know, I've been, I've been watching him since I was a little kid, and uh, now it's the first time I get to play against him. You heard it from Luke Keekley. Steve Smith, not an arsonist. Um, so, I do want to know a little bit. You've I uh, had so many tackles, led the NFL in tackles your first year, the NFC in tackles your second year. Uh, who's the most fun to hit? The most fun to hit? Shoot, that's a good question. I think, you know, quarterbacks are always fun. I don't get to those guys very much, but, uh, I, you know, I'm a spin on The most difficult guy I think is easier to go about is, you know, Marshawn Lynch. I've talked about him a lot, and he's a, you know, uncharacteristic runner. He's kind of unorthodox, big, strong, powerful. He's got a good stiff arm, so. And we got them this year, so it'll be a good challenge going against them. Uh, as a Seahawks fan, I appreciate your blatant pandering to me. Yep. Um, now, you're a, you're a Cincinnati guy. What's up with your chili? Skyline chili is the way to go. Oh. You know, it's, it's delicious. You know, you grow up on that stuff. Um, you, you should know, not noodles, grow up on that. It's like a sauce with some cheese on top. It's delicious. You know, if, if you're going to put it, you, have, you can have one of two things. You can either make it sweet instead of spicy, or you can put it on top of spaghetti. But not both. It's so... It's a Cincinnati thing, I guess. I'll let you have it. Um, back to the draft. Mm -hmm. You've got a little bit of a different look now. Yeah. Uh, you were a little bit more, uh, had a little bit more curl and some glasses when you were drafted. You got a little bit different look right now. Tell me about that. Yeah, you know, I've been, I partnered up with Old Spice and, you know, we're just trying to talk about the new hair product line that they've been promoting. You know, it opened up earlier this year. It's, you know, shampoo, conditioner, hair gel. A lot of it's just based on the ease of getting up in the morning and putting yourself together. And it's, it's, it's a simple task that they make, and um, you know it's 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 a cool product line. I think people should check it out. You don't seem like uh, it seems like you've got kind of naturally solid mm -hmm. body. You don't seem like a heavy gel guy. Not a big heavy gel guy. I throw it in here and there, but the shampoo and, and the conditioner, you know, when the hair gets a little longer, it's good for it. Yeah, I'm uh, heavily reliant on it, as you can see. It's the only thing I've got going for me. Uh, that is Luke Keekley, Defensive Player of the Year for 2013. Big things in store for the 2014 Carolina Panthers. Good luck to you, Luke. Thank you.